With the spike in heroin use in our state, police say they're seeing an increase now in drugged driving. But there's no accurate blood or urine test right now to determine if a driver is too high to drive. News Ace Bob Wilson shows us how police say they have now found a solution. Bob? Yeah, you know what, Darren, flying high behind the wheel, how can you tell? They may kind of swerve around, you pull them over, they blow a zero, there's no alcohol in their breath, but yet they walk the white line and fail. AAA says they have done research and there's no biological test to prove it either way, for or against. They say it's only going to get more complicated as more states pass it. As they say, the times they are a change it. You know, marijuana is going to be legalized, if not in Connecticut, certainly in many states across the country. AAA says Washington state was second in the country to legalize marijuana, and in their first year, their fatal accidents from drug driving doubled. AAA did a study and concluded there is no accurate biological test to determine an impaired limit for drivers high on drugs. You can check someone's urine, you can check someone's blood, but the number that you come back with, there's no scientific basis for the fact that that number equals impairment. AAA says the best defense are police officers trained in drug recognition. They have 20 in the state, another 10 are graduating, and that'll bring the numbers up to 30. There's one here in Manchester, and they say, especially with heroin on the rise and legalization of medical marijuana, the problems out on the road are not getting any better. Are the drugs a problem driving? They absolutely are a problem. Um, it, it's impairment just like alcohol. Officer Scott Plord is a drug recognition officer for Manchester Police Department. He has undergone extensive training with the state and is able to determine if a person is driving under the influence of drugs. He says they start out with a typical drunk driving tests, the walk and turn on the white line, the one leg stand, and if the driver fails those tests and there's no odor of alcohol and the breathalyzer detects no alcohol, they switch to a different set of tests. The modified Romberg test is basically uh, closing your eyes, tilting your head back and estimating the passage of 30 seconds. And a lack of convergence test is uh, moving a stimulus towards the person's eyes and watching their eyes cross. Now, to become one of those drug identification officers, they must go through at least 125 hours of training. He's had more than that. They say that way they get the feel, they get the idea behind it, and can determine whether or not they're impaired. And AAA wants to make sure to point out that they are neither for or against the legalization of marijuana. They just want to make sure people are not driving under the influence. I'm Bob Wills reporting live, News 8.